I guess it was 2014. I just uh, was looking for my next movement obsession. And so it was my sort of January um, you know, resolution and decided to try Ariel and wanted something more fun and adventurous and sexy and um, just became completely hooked on it. It was extremely physically challenging. It took maybe, I think, at least a year for the aches and pains to subside. Um, something often felt tweaked in my shoulders. My The knuckles in my fingers would ache. The fact that I had been teaching yoga and practicing yoga for many years was a big help, but I was also training with women who had been professional dancers. So, you know, they already had a very strong core and you know, perfect pointy feet, things like that. It's really challenging. It's hard not to compare yourself and constantly feel that you are not good enough, not flexible enough, not strong enough. There was a, a period of about a year or two where I was practicing, I'd say, eight to 12 hours a week. And that was really exciting. I had a real sense of prowess. I don't know about mastery, but but I, I just, I felt really strong and really capable. I guess just getting to be strong, graceful, beautiful. There's something really deeply satisfying about having that extreme height of physical ability and capacity. When I became pregnant, uh, my decision about Ariel was to trust that my body would tell me if it wasn't okay. I think my first two to four weeks of being pregnant, I had a lot of turbulent emotion, a lot of anger, shock, some sadness around knowing that I was going to have to let a lot of my identity go and stop activities that were just really kind of essential to my satisfaction and happiness in life. Um, and not because some doctor was telling me to, to, to stop them, you know, just because I just physically wasn't able to at all. And I thought that it would come back quickly after I had the baby and I yeah I thought the return journey would be much easier you know you go on Instagram you see pictures of acrobats and aerialists who are kind of back at it in six weeks and that just was not not what happened uh, for me at all obviously your body takes time to recover you know no one is really supposed to exercise until six weeks after you have the baby so <laughs> throwing yourself upside down on a, on a rope and throwing your legs open into a straddle, obviously, you know, has issues if you just pushed a human being out your vagina. <laughs> it took me, oh, she's up. She's sitting up. My body just looked nothing like it had. I felt just like a big sack of organs that didn't know where their place was and uh you know I lost all my core strength couldn't do a pull-up at all I thought that and I know that weight is not the thing you should be worried about if you just had a baby but it does make it harder to climb and pull your body up if you have you know an extra 30 pounds and I found it really difficult to lose the weight. Yeah, it really brought up a lot of body image issues. It uh, was so hard not to compare myself to what other people were going through. You know, so there was a lot of, you know, why is this happening to me? Why, why isn't my experience more like theirs? Why isn't this, you know, as easy as I thought it would be? Yeah, it was just so strange to sort of have this this body and these abilities in my mind that I, I thought surely they'd be there for me, you know, maybe just because some, something inside of me would wake up and remember or because it would come back quickly and that just wasn't the case. And, you know, trying to keep, keep everything together and apartment relationship, it just craves a little time for yourself. And then, you know, be breastfeeding for four to eight hours a day for weeks and weeks and weeks. And, uh, yeah, but I really put her first. And I think that there's an emotional price 
for that that I feel. I don't think my body or my mind are my own yet. I don't know when that will happen ever. <laughs> you know, people joke that it never happens after you have a child. I had some woman stop me on the street, you know, when I was carrying Alexandria to the, for a walk in the park and she was just maybe two months old. And she said, are you happier than you've ever been? <laughs> <laughs> more exhausted than I've ever been. I don't know, maybe feeling love on a deeper level than I've ever felt it, but I wouldn't say happy necessarily. You, know, you really crave some kind of integration of your former identity. At least I did, because I liked who I was <laughs> a lot. It was really fun. You know, I felt like I worked my whole life to get to that place where being me felt so fun. I mean, I, it's definitely getting better. I, um, I feel like my body is sort of knitting itself back together. I can't quite do a pull-up yet, but I can do inversion climbs again with bent arms. Straight arm inversions are not back yet, but She's so yummy. Yeah, I'm definitely a little uh, kiddo.